Ah, uh, welcome back everyone to another episode of Victoria 2! Zombies! Wahahaha! -ha -ha -ha. <laughs> so guys, I've decided that I'm gonna cut down my laughter just by a teensy bit because I realized that it could cause some people to actually go brain dead. Which is a bad thing because I want you guys to watch my videos and comment and subscribe. So, <laughs> we're gonna stop that. And so anyways guys, as you guys know from last episode, we did a gigantic war with Mexico. Took a lot of land, like we took uh, California, Utah, Colorado, we also took New Mexico, the rest of Texas, but apparently in the peace deal I didn't read it carefully enough because I didn't take Phoenix or Arizona. Um, that basically means is that we're going to have to go to war with Mexico again! So when does our peace deal wear off with Mexico? In 1855. So the Mexicans have five years before I will go back to war with them and I'll probably even take even more. Like, to be honest, since I'm the only real power in the world right now, because my military is only 35 brigades, but we look go to diplomacy, go to army, the biggest army right now that's even close to mine is Spain, which is only about 17. That's not even a quarter of my army. I think, if the, uh, I think the only way the world could stop me now if I really wanted to go on a complete and other world conquest is they would have to all unite and gather up all their precious resources that they have left after squabbling it all but for a petty war of their own little spheres and then try to fight me. But even then, I don't think they would win. Because I just, I'm, I'm a god now, people. <laughs> the United States is running the show now. Uh gosh. So anyways, guys, but we're not, I'm not that, I'm not a crazy expansionist guy, as you guys know. In fact, I very much oppose to crazy expansions. But I do like to destroy people that have wronged me, and I think the Mexicans should have given me more land. So, I think the new border I'm going to make with Mexico is probably going to be closer to right about here. I'm just going to take all of this. Get the good land right here that has uh, rich minerals. Yes, right here, Chiricahua, and Cachucan, and Durango. I'm just going to take all these lands and just make them all mine. That would supply me enough precious metals to last me for a lifetime. Okay? Okay. And in terms of technology, we're going to be spending a lot of time on getting naval logistics. So, I think that's a good enough. I think I basically covered everything else. Uh, Policy-wise, uh, Democrats are in power. Whoever's in America will know, will know that's either a good thing for you or a bad thing. I do not like... Okay. I do not like this. So, let's see. How's my economy doing? It seems like the capitalists are starting to definitely grow it. I'm glad because I'm getting kind of sick of always managing my economy. Uh, we, we can keep it about we can keep it about speed three because I want to just kind of manage everything while it's going on in the background. Okay, craftsmen right here in Illinois. Okay, so we don't need any more craftsmen in Illinois. So let's start encouraging actual um, what is it called? Not not laborers, not clerks, but they are called ca capitalists. That's their names. Wood, clothes, we need industrial goods! We need them now! When do we need it? Now! When do we not need it? Later! Yeah! Okay, so, yeah. Oh gosh, oh man. I do have a kind of worry though that I hope Mexico will not just start spawning random rebels. Because then that would kind of mean the death of me because I don't really have the uh, diplomatic soiree to like, you know, deal with the whole horde of Mexican rebels attacking me. It really does seem like if they were to like go into zombie Mexico right now it would just destroy America <laughs> no no flat saying it it would destroy America like it would it would completely break us we would not have any any hope of survival if Mexico was like to break out right now and become zombie Mexico so anyways um yeah <laughs> but what I am thinking of doing guys is I am thinking of a little bit doing is a little bit of expansions expansionists into some of these Caribbean islands that did not apparently like you know die in the initial zombie apocalypse so we might be focusing in on some of the ha Haitian rebels or the Haitian people so let's just start that right now I mean I really could honestly like not conquest them I mean it's not a requirement that I should conquest them but it's a good thing that I do and apparently the USCA is apparently gonna be my first person to be added to my sphere like they have to be, like, they seriously have to be the only person to be added to my sphere because I, I basically protect them. They are 
in essence, a part of my country, whether they like it or not, because I am protecting them for my own benefits. But I'm hopefully, hopefully going to be able to pull out soon, because the zombies have almost destroyed all this land, which means I'll be able to pull out, and that makes my life a whole lot easier. And it makes tariffing a lot harder, because now the economy is just like, bleh. So, what do we need to do? Let's just decrease administrative taxes. Oh, we can... Hmm. See, this is where the problem starts to come in, is that military, it isn't my military subsidized that's killing me. The Haitian menace, they're coming for us, everyone, they're coming for us, they're coming for us, I don't know when, I don't know how, but they go, no man, go out, go come for us, now we're going to die from their hands. They're coming for us, people, that's all I gotta say, they're coming for us. And that, guys, was spoken by the true prospector himself, Prospector Crazy. Yeah! I love you, man, you've given us great messages over the years of they're coming for us. <laughs> Okay, what are you talking about? Oh gosh. And there's our and there's our critic of what are you talking about? He doesn't have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, and I feel bad for taxing the poor so much, so maybe I'll loosen taxes a little bit. If you guys don't collapse the market, I don't think I'll be spending it much, but it seems like spending on land units, I'm mainly spending on my artillery. Like artillery is like costing me a ton of money. That's almost a hundred it's costing me. Gosh dang. We need to get some like automotive parts up or something. Cause that's just too much. And I guess I could stop supporting you. I can keep supporting you. You guys are probably not gonna grow. Uh, you guys can keep being supported. You guys can keep being subsidized. Let's see. Um, yeah, the good majority of these things can keep being subsidized because I don't really like oppose them being made. Yeah, definitely this steel factory can be alive. Yes, I support steel. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let's just continue. Um, yeah, mission to Haiti. What are you talking about? Okay, moralism and all that kind of jazz. Uh, hangover, whatever. Morale crusaders. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, and apparently our economy is just like, just bad. So what is really costing us a lot? Administration is costing us a ton. I think... I think though it's mainly our income right now. Our income is not matching how much we are, we are like expending. But the only problem is, is that my expenses. Where is my expenses coming from? Like seriously, where is the main point? Because eighty plus two hundred and seventy-seven plus one twenty-four plus zero plus two hundred and thirty-five plus one point zero plus one point six does not equal thirteen thousand seven hundred forty-one point nine eight two. I know math, and that ain't math. <laughs> I don't know where they're getting this magical number right here, but that ain't that ain't not what you get as a number. So I'll even test it. I'll get completely no administration power, which is gonna hurt me a lot. But I'm gonna test it. Wow, we got a lot of money. Okay, let's get like 15% administration power. Can I support that? Yes, I can. Okay, and I can now go annex the ha Haitians. Haitians, yay! Okay, so let's go get my army out here. It should not. I should only have to have one army. To go conquer Haitians. So let's just go send these guys over here. Just go march, march, march. Okay, you guys go right there. Now let's go right next to the capital. Okay, the wickedness, whatever wickedness must be stamped out. Haiti, it's been good knowing you guys. I mean, you guys are going to be happy to join our union. And we can call the USCA to join us, but I don't think they will join us. So I'll still conquer Haiti by myself. And no one else in the world is going to stop me. So let's just go in. Stomp my land, get my troops out. And let's just go start conquering. And the Haitian troops have just been destroyed, and wickedness will be stamped out again. And oh shoot, shoot, wait, wait, what are you doing? Why are you going all the way around? No, 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 no. You go right there. There we go. You don't go all the way around. That's just stupid. Okay, we just got naval naval supply. Um, why can't we get this? We cannot research. Is not uh, discovered. Uh, 1870. Gosh darn it, I didn't realize that. Well, at least I got breech loaded rifles, so that means I'm very closer to what I need, right? Right? No? I don't have colonial negotiations, and I don't have mission to colonize. What in the world is going on right now? Because you need breech loaded rifles and you need states and governments. Why do I not have this technology yet? Let's see. Uh, target analysis hit. Yeah, authoritarian traditionalism. Mission to colonize. Uh, we have naval naval statistics, market regulations. Okay, so apparently I need to get 
I need to get another technology, so I'm gonna need to get nationalism and imperialism. Let's do that. Nationalism and imperialism, baby! One of the two best things in the world that the, that the 1900s ever brought us. Nationalism and imperialism. If you were a European. If you were not a European or Japan, Japan, Japan's probably the exception to this rule, then it was a probably not a good thing for you. Okay, so, anyways, we have more- Why are there so many morale crusaders in America? Seriously. It's like almost every second there's a morale- Yeah, like that! Every second we're like getting morale crusaders, it's like, really? Oh, shoot. Seems like- Seems like they were dealing with the- Oh, no, that's just- That's just the white army. The white army in Haiti is revolting and dig deep and greedy, guys. I think you know me well enough to know that I do not. When it comes to laborers, you guys will work to the very. <laughs> you guys will work your bone to the very end. Royal Crusaders. There we go. Then goes that way, and then destroy their rebels, and then conquer this land. Oh, we even got the land that they supported, and now Haiti. You are now going to be peacefully annexed. Thank you. And you are now the 51th... Well, actually, wait, wait. Uh, technically, they would probably be the, uh... Hmm. I, I don't see how this would work, because... Let's see, we don't, we don't have a... We don't have Arizona yet in the Union, so that means the maximum state is about 47. So, this would be the 48th state? Question mark? Yeah, 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 I think this is how it works. Haiti would be the 48th state in the Union. Welcome aboard, Haiti! You guys are getting two delegates now, and you guys officially get a representation inside the Congress. Congratulations, you are now part of the American democracy. Okay, Morale Crusaders! My gosh, what the heck is with these Morale Crusaders? Ugh, it's kinda, it's, it's a little bit aggravating, I'm not gonna deny, like seriously. Do we not have anyone else but Morale Crusaders crusading our land? And apparently, now we're starting to like gain uh, people. Our economy's starting to actually start to recover, so I think I'm going to start lowering taxes. I'm going to try to get to 50% taxes before I start increasing anything. Because I think 50% taxes is going to be, like, great for everyone. Like, seriously, if we get 50% taxes, that will be great. Alright, and apparently our nationalism imperialism is coming along great. Oh, wait! <gasps> yes! Okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's finally time to initiate stage two of colonization. Yes! Okay, so let's start. Let's gain this. Okay, let's gain this. Let's just. Oh my goodness, let's just, let's just keep expanding. Let's just keep expanding. Oh my goodness, this is going to be like crazily good. Okay, Moral Crusaders, that's good, that's good. Ecuador goes bankrupt. Ecuador is gone, I think. No, Ecuador is still alive. So is Peru. Wow. I guess a couple of these countries were able to create quarantine zones. Like, Brazil was able to create some quarantine zones in the Amazon, so that makes sense. I mean, when the zombie apocalypse breaks out, I guess you would be running towards the rainforest to hide amongst the trees and the various poisonous animals to protect yourself from a zombie apocalypse. That makes sense. Um, yeah, we got some economic stuff. Morale Crusaders, yes. Yes, oh gosh. Gosh, okay, so now since we just got that event, that means I'm actually going to have to start expanding my, uh naval range a little bit because as we all know the main the main thing you have to worry about in this game is to make sure you have a good enough amount of naval range so because I'm gonna be a major colonizer so I'm gonna need massively good naval range so let's see right here extend naval range and I don't think I have any more money so then not extend naval range there we go but yeah oh gosh we've started it guys we started it oh I can't wait this is gonna be the first step come on come on guys get the first step I wanna like start getting this and apparently 20% of the colonists are Swedish. What happened? 10% of Polish, 34% of Maskawi, 34% of Sinai, where the heck are these numbers coming from? Okay, wait, 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 there's only 29 people in this entire population and so they're basing this entire graph on 29 people so I'm, I'm gonna let this go for a little bit, but I'm gonna calculate this. That means... Let me get my natural focus. Okay, that means that we have approximately... 
let's see diplomatic options well now since I've been neglecting my Navy no I haven't really been neglecting my Navy I've been neglecting this a little bit so I'm gonna get some uh, marketing structure but there's 29 people here <laughs> okay let me create protectorate first okay bitter ruined uh, divert more to the local farm and then aquifer wait wait is it this part is this part? Yes. Okay. I, I, I don't know, guys. Help me out in the comments if you guys know. Ah! So close. I was so hoping I could get away with not having any rebellions in my country. Okay. Go hunt them down. Go hunt all those rebellions down. There should be a big enough army to go deal with all them. I'm going to go actually move all you guys over here. But, yeah, you guys help me out here. Because there's, like, a couple armies, and yet they all, like... No! Wait a minute. No! Zombie lands in my country. That that's not good. That's definitely not good. Okay, um, because if zombie lands in my country, that means they could potentially uh, kill me, and I could potentially spawn a bunch of rebels. Especially since right now I am being very very cruel to my uh, um, people. So it's a very good idea that I get this very much under my under control as quickly as possible. Go destroy those rebels right now. Thank you. Okay. Now that we've destroyed those rebels, I can feel slightly safer knowing that my country is safe. And we are starting to colonize all of all of the coast. Caracat. I'm not, no, I'm not going to try to pronounce the capitals. Uh, just keep, whatever I can colonize, just colonize. I mean, we have such an advantage over everyone. Except for the UK, apparently. The UK has apparently come back into this game. Which kind of stinks, because I was kind of hoping that we could just, like, colonize in peace. But apparently not. They apparently had to be back in this, and I'll extend this fort right here. Alright, and I think I might build, at home, I think I might build a new big army. I think we're going to need a lot more army to protect ourselves. Now that the rebels are starting to spawn, we might need a little bit more protection. I'm just going to be honest. Oh gosh, yeah, I mean, I love my guys, but I think it's time to expand the military of America. Who's, who's with me? I'm going to assume that by your silence you all agree yes. Okay, politics. Okay, you guys go right there. Just go squish all these, like, miniature men. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to crush all these guys. And all these other upper events. Weakness, okay. And you guys are going to go down there to go crush that army. And I'm going to build that new army that I've been talking about. So let's see. Let's build one, two, three, four. Five, six, okay, so, wait, no, 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 those are terrible troops, one, two, okay, then we need, like, I guess we could, I guess we could, like, this include, like, one, include one of those guys, include one of these guys, which means one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, so I need five, one, two, three, three, four, five, there we go, that should be a pretty well-balanced army, I mean, it has enough goodness in it, it has enough like you know troops in it it's a pretty good balanced army over here we have much things happening the main thing happening is that I am colonizing everything 57 people here and what's the population 33% Basque 40% northern Italian and 40 bits where did the, how did the northern how did the Italians even get you I guess these are survivors we're slowly picking up in our culture but I'm I'm just wondering, how did they get here in the first place? Uh, I, don't know. I love this mod. That's all I'm gonna say, guys. I seriously, without a doubt, love this mod. It is like the mod I've been waiting for for Victoria too. I mean, seriously, so many, so many things happen in this, and just oh my goodness, oh my goodness I love this mod. Okay, so yeah, we're building up our new army, which should be done in a couple days. Well, Crusaders, wickedness must be stamped out, and <laughs> and apparently Mexico got a new government, a very, 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 very restrictive government. That isn't good in Mexico. That is not good because that means you're becoming a fascist or a very, very unpopular nation with America. And as Americans and as a leader of America, I will not permit anyone to be unfree in America. At least for the people that are not considered a state. Okay, let's create all these 
little branches of American Grand Columbia. Yes. And let's just keep expanding. Okay. Yes. And apparently there's still a go there's still a horde right there, so I'm gonna have to go deal with that. The Oh guys. Okay, so apparently they will not be able to we're gonna have to put an army over there, but I think what I'm going to have to do eventually is I'm going to have to invade uh Columbia just to Or I could just form an alliance with them. They would not like an alliance with me. And who are the great powers now? I didn't expect my sphere of influence to become a great power. Good job, and oh oh phew. I thought there was rebels again. It's always those rebels. They freak me out, guys. They seriously do. So, let me just start combining all my soldiers. Start getting all this. And how is our infrastructure going? Ah, it's actually going pretty good. The capitalists are working hard on industrializing America. That is good. Um, I'm going to have to start putting different armies, though, in different places. So, what I might have to start doing is moving this army, the 21 stack, to here. So that it can start actually protecting a wider range of people. So I think it's kind of stupid that we only protect a little bit. And over here I'm going to finally finish up the colonization over there. We can gain two prestige, I don't mind. And you guys will be uh, hunting down rebels. And let's see, is there anything else we can colonize? No? Well let's just keep colonizing inward. <laughs> oh gosh. And I think with that guys, I think I have to end the episode. That is, this is awesome. We're just starting our colonization into new the new american empire after the zombie apocalypse we're going to soon spread across the entire south american and then from there we're going to slowly but surely take over the rest of europe um by then i'm hoping that a couple countries will be covered like it seems like prussia is actually becoming the biggest country to ever recover from a zombie apocalypse strettenberg seems to be the strongest outpost so far oh and sweden and denmark okay I was secretly laughing at them for the fact that they were even still alive and that they were considered the second greatest power, but they actually held their borders up, so... And never mind, give it to them! They actually do deserve a clap! Yeah, go Denmark! Whatever you guys are doing, you guys have definitely lived longer than the rest of the world. <laughs> Anyone else that's a big power? Well, China is, I think, Mongolia, so that doesn't really count. Japan's almost nearly wiped out. Korea's almost gone. Um, all these places are just basically here, so not really much difference there. Yeah. Okay. It seems like it's time for me to end the episode, so thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.